We are back to the group A matches. Rosalina stands lonely at the top right now, being the only one that won in that group so far, having a 3-0 win over Noah. Sharon and Damien had a draw. So, I haven't done the full calculation, but I feel like if Rosalina wins this one, they are confirmed to be in the second stage of the tournament. Because there cannot be two others that reach that amount of wins. But, let's not worry about that too much. We're only just starting the second round and everyone gets three matches. Rosalina Sharon. A lot's on the line. If Sharon wins, they are Titan points. The winner of the last tournament lost their first match, so losing here doesn't matter much. But also winning your first match doesn't mean you're going to make it to the single elimination stage. Now something that Sharon will be hoping for, outside of just winning, obviously, is that their Jigglypuff can do something. Because in their match, um, in her match against Damien, Jigglypuff was taken out before he even could wiggle its finger for Metronome. This is an important See, that was shiny, shiny sparkles. That's a Cascoon, not a Silcoon. It's a very slightly greeny version of a Silcoon. Therefore, it's a Cascoon. Also, their model is a little different, but they're not too easy to tell. Attack missed. It hits. The situation is a problem. Yeah. Both Wormpool and Jigglypuff made it through the, through turn one. Jigglypuff was taken up before it could even use Metronome last time. And Wormpool used I think Ela Healing Wish or Lunar Dance. Turn one. But this is not a favorable matchup. Examining their opponent. Oh. 
The move can't hit the opponent. A heated battle is unfolding in the Coliseum. The battle videos, the individual matches of the turn will be their individual videos. In terms of highlights, I might do that after the tournament? I'm really not sure yet. Maybe after the match in which they've happened, I might upload them as a bonus video. I don't know yet. I've made a note of that specific highlight. But potentially after group stage and then again after the tournament, I'll ask people, hey, what were your highlights from the entire tournament? Specific moments, full battles, stuff like that. And then I might make a compilation of highlights as well. I'm not really sure what I want to do with that yet. If you have a suggestion, let me know. Don't have to listen to it, but... Yeah. Maybe individual highlights, maybe at the end I just make a compilation. like how strong that bit of the commentator sounds. Like Shadow Force is a really good cool one too. And that's who Pokemon KO'd on the it's other side. Hi, Rosalina's in sleep. Where's the go boom? It didn't KO anything else. It was an but there's the boom. Like we haven't seen that this tournament yet. Yeah, they chose a female Wobbuffet. They specifically chose female Wobbuffet. I remember that from the registration. Which means we're gonna see the lipstick Wobbuffet the entire tournament. It looks weird. But that's how a, what a female Wobbuffet looks. This is where that other uh, Fiona is gaming. You have the other Fiona. It's one of the five duplicate Pokemon I think in the tournament I said, or six? Fiona is one of them, and you have one, Rosalina has one. He 
Beatran is sent out. Well, both corners still have a chance to win this. What kind of developments can we expect to see next? Fione uses its move. Yeah, I agree. There's no telling what happens. It's a metronome fight. We've seen fights that were a lot more dominant on one side that suddenly got really close and there was even a comeback. Ahem, <clears throat> the previous fight. <laughs> Also, with the stronger Pokemon always being in the back, it's easier for them to undo them being behind, because the base stat difference is generally going to be stronger if you have Pokemon left. Unless something like U-Turn or Whirlwind happen, in which case you still have a weak one in the back. That can happen. Wait a second, is Heatran sleeping with his eyes open? Look at Heatran, tell me his eyes aren't open. It's twisting the dimensions in the Coliseum. Its eyes are absolutely open. Pretty much every Pokemon has an eyes closed animation, unless you cannot see their eyes. Why is it, why are his eyes open? Does it not have eyelids? What actual question? Does he try not have eyelids? Because now it's just gonna get smoke in its eyes and it can't get rid of it because it doesn't have eyelids. It's sleeping with its eyes open. What? Did they forget that animation or does, it, is he trying really not supposed to have eyelids? Taken down by an intense blow. 
Yeah, maybe it is a mask with eyes painted on them. Still looks weird though. Jirachi is sent out. Something strange. Distortion. What's this? The Colosseum. He waves big, takes the wob if it makes it a 2v1 scenario. But it misses the Jirachi then? That could have been huge, super effective from a Yitram. Wait, it's a 3v1, just like last fight. And in... Rosalina already won 3 0 once. It's, it, this might become another 3 0, depending on how things go. And last time they played, their 3 0 win against Noah, Rosalina never sent out Rayquaza, did they? I don't think they ever sent out Rayquaza. So, is this going to be the same again? The move fails. Well, both corners still have a chance to win this. What kind of developments can we expect to see next? Not Torch, obliterated by Fire Blast. It's a Fire Blast from a Heatran on a Jirachi that's had its special defense dropped by Fake Tears. Another 3-0 win for Rosalina. Another time. They didn't even need to send out their Rayquaza. And I feel like this is a team of just Pokemon that are nicely put together. Like, they have their Cascoon and their Wurmple to start with. And then they have some... And then they have Apom and then three legendaries and it's working for them really well. I believe that has already confirmed Rosalina into the next group, into the next stage of the tournament. With Sharon, with a draw and a loss, not looking very good. They need to win to have a chance to maybe make it on tiebreakers. Ah. They might hope that Damien then wins? Then again, they, they might want Noah to be Damien then, because Noah's the worst tiebreaker. Maybe Rosalina is saving that Rayquaza for a special occasion. We'll see when they need it for the first time, and if they do, if that means they also immediately lose when they send it out. Let's go to the next match.